Hey, Tony Gaskins here. Now, don't have a lot of time today because I got 40 minutes. Well, that's a lot of time, but I got a coach in literally 41 minutes, so I'm going to have to get on out of here at that time, all right? I got to let them still going in order. So now we've got to the next day. All the talks with Tony that you have seen to this point, those were all questions from one day. We finally crossed over to the next day by four minutes. This one came in at 12.04 a.m on that day so we're going in order say hello coach tony thank you for reading my letter that sister had some faith now she know her letter getting read after being married 18 years left due to husband's infidelity i am divorced and have been single for four years now i met my ex-husband at the age of 19 in college so dating is new to me all over again I took time to heal from the abandonment in my marriage and I'm ready now. I've taken time to heal, grow in knowledge and recently began dating again. I have been applying all of the principles and knowledge you have shared, continually working on and doing all with the three B's, multiple streams of income and I am an educated career woman. I am also writing my book. In addition, fitness and healthy eating has always been a way of life. I have purchased your books and courses both for myself and my 21 year old who, who's soon to be attending medical school. Y'all doing good out there now. I'm staying off my back, listening more, collecting data and taking my time. I live in beautiful Southern California I have been meeting men who, once they find out what I do for a living, seem to want to capitalize off of me or run games, so I go the other way. I've met men at the grocery store, on vacation, out while I'm running, at business networking events, and even online. Not my cup of tea, though. I do get asked out on dates so I can choose which ones I'll accept. It seems like nowhere I meet men, there are a lot of opportunities and men running games and it seems to increase, especially since I'm getting close to 50. I'm standing firm in my Christian standards. No men with vices, no men who don't know what they want, etc. I'm dating with purpose. I keep this to myself so that so they don't know. It seems no matter how old or how successful or how educated men are, I'm finding that there is a lot of faking, faking character, faking integrity, and faking ambition. And these men can fly under the radar for months. I cut off as soon as I feel something in my spirit is off or they eventually give themselves away, but it seems to be taking months. These men will be consistent, invite me around family, and even invest their time and money no matter what the cost so much so they'll even have their actions line up with their words once the veil comes off and they can no longer keep it up i put on my track shoes okay you 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 og from you know back when i was doing the written q a on instagram tony why is it that the act men are showcasing can be kept so long is there something i can change or apply in the dating process to not have my valuable time wasted Thank you. God bless you, your beautiful wife, and lovely children. All righty. Sent from my iPhone. Okay, now you're doing good. For real, now you got your iPhone now. Now, y'all, Android, Samsung, Galaxy Note, <laughs> please stop taking. Uh, y'all, so ready. Uh, so I ain't successful. Y'all successful too. But no, I, I I get it. So you know, I used to have Metro PCS. Okay, my mama had Cricket, so I get it. You climb on up, you know, the phone different prices. Y'all stop worrying about the wrong thing. We talking about a, a email here. We not concerned with your Cricket Wireless. If that's what you want to talk on, that's totally fine. You know. That's totally fine. Everybody got a choice. No, see, I'll start taking offense to the wrong stuff. Now, this is, this is a good letter. This is a good question now. Now, see, Patty, you sent in a, your picture in here now. It's, you you a little far back, so it wasn't a head shot. So I can't really see you, Patty. I can't really see you. Now, you in Southern California. Okay. 
You're in Southern California. All right. You're nearing 50. Okay. I don't know what Southern California is. You know, if that's Los Angeles. What cities are in Southern California? Cation. What cities make up Southern? Okay, Los Angeles in there. Orange, Riverside, San Bernardino, San Diego, San Luis Obispo. Okay. Kern, Imperial. Some of these I ain't never heard of. Okay, we just going to call you L.A. I know it's a difference now. Probably between Los Angeles County and Orange County and all of that. But, see, California... What they used to say about y'all was not good. Y'all know what they used to say about y'all now. Fruits, nuts, and flakes. I do not know what that is. I don't know what that means. I'm not agreeing with it. That's okay. Don't try to get me canceled on the council culture. I'm just saying that's just what they used to say. I don't know what that means. Okay, if you live in California, maybe you know. But one thing I've noticed about the men out there. See, sis, now nah, I'm going to tell you. Now it looked like, okay, looked like you got a little something on your hips, all right? And you brown skin. That right there, that's gonna be part of the issue in Southern California because it's it's getting real light out there, okay? It's, it's so culturally diverse with all the Hispanics, with all the Asians, you know, the whites and the blacks, it's a lot of you know, mixing now. So it's a lot of, in, in 2050, California is going to be a lot of um, light skin with colored eyes because it's so, it's a melting pot. So when you brown skin, I've been noticing a lot of my clients who are brown skin, you know, you, you like my color. Um, of course, there's a little small picture. I can't really tell you like my color. Now, I'm not this light okay i'm darker than this but i got light shining in my face okay so you like my color maybe a shade darker but i but when i'm looking at you though i could see that bike it don't do straight like this okay what i'm looking at you, I, that bike do this okay and i see that thigh it go up and it do this okay so you know you built how we were built in africa when i go to south africa what a lot of women paying for it's natural out there it's natural out there in south africa so sis that's one thing you're running into when you meeting men who for one they already in southern california on a large scale don't really value you know a black woman in a lot of ways especially when you get close to either hollywood or if you close to a tech valley, it, it's not going to be very praised. And everybody know it, but nobody like to talk about it. I got a lot of clients out there that's uh, African American women who the dating who who are not falling into all of the stuff that Hollywood wants you to get into, all of the injections and all of those things, and they having a tough time dating meeting real men the reason why just like i did a video earlier today if you didn't watch it i was talking about the programming of men men are easily programmed and so if hollywood you in california this way it go down at if california saying this is the look that we own right now men they so get so wrapped in that a trance to where that's all they see they just oh you ain't this complexion. Oh, your hair ain't like this. Oh, your eyes ain't like this. Oh, your shape ain't like this. And they, 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 they get stuck. And so they meeting you. And what's happening is like what you say, when they find out what you do, that a lot of men today, especially on California. So this, this is regional specific to you. Everybody in California or everybody like in New York, New York have some of the same struggles as California. And yes, it struggles everywhere. Houston, D.C., Atlanta, everybody got their own struggle. But when you're in a place that is high net worth, like the, the median income is higher and the cost of living is higher. So like my house, a house my size 
in Florida, in California, would be like my house that I paid six hundred thousand dollars for. This house would be two million, three million in some areas in California. Like the houses out there that look for six hundred thousand in, in Los Angeles and stuff, you know, it it don't look like it looks here. And so, what's happening out there as well is you dating men. Some of them they getting older. And like you say, they they faking character, they faking integrity, they faking ambition. And reason why is because the number one thing that men worry about, the number one thing that men worry about is money. So when a man gets older, he start to worry more about money and want like, is my retirement going to be secure? Have I made enough to live comfortable in retirement in California? No. No, sir, you have not. I'm, I, I hate to break it to you, sir. No, sir, you 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 retiring at sixty-two, <laughs> California? Okay, you gonna be broke by seventy. All right. So now these men they faking all this character and integrity because they looking for a woman that's gonna help them get to eighty or ninety with your four hundred one k. You hear me? With your portfolio, okay. So, but here's the thing. There's no way that. There's nothing you could put in place that could shorten the time other than the obvious. So in a situation like this, this is what y'all got to do. Y'all tired of wasting time, okay? So what you have to do is you have to clearly identify your standards. So if I was a woman, let me say, I'm going to say no cursing. I'm going to say man of God, okay? I'm going to say job. I'm going to say own place to live, own transportation. Those five things right there off rip. All right. Then you look a little deeper. You you nearing 50. So what you really want, you want men who children is high school or older. If he 48 with a five year old, you have to go. Yeah, you have to go. You hear me? No, he doing too much slanging. He got too much going on out here. You got too much going on. You see what I mean? So in your age range, this is another thing. You nearing 50, he need to be no less than no more than three years younger than you. No more than three years younger than you. So that's gonna cut out some of these men. No more than five years older than you. That's gonna cut out some of these men. So now, boom, you ain't wasting as much time. You're not wasting time. You getting close to 50. So I'm I'm thinking you you 48 or 49. So you ain't dealing with a 56 year old. You ain't dealing with a 56 year old unless he just is too little for. It. Unless you look at that man and it just woo. Unless it's like that, you got to you got to close the pool, got to close the window a little bit so it'll save you more time cuz if you sitting up here and you give 3 months to a 58 year old then that's three months that can drain you some more so that when you make the 53-year-old, you cut the 53-year-old off early because you because you drain from the 58-year-old that you gave nine months. You see what I mean? So get very specific. Now, first, you got to write all this down. You got to write all this down so that it get in your spirit. You, get, you write it down. You read it. You read it. You read it. You get it in your spirit. And the way the mind works is your subconscious mind is then going to pick up on this so that when you see a man who he's 65, you don't even see him. You don't even see him. He got to look. His age might not be what it is, but he got to look 47. Let's just say you 50 just for the sake of the video. He got to look 47 to 55. If he look 25, you don't even see him. If he look 35, you don't even see him. If he look 65, you don't even see him. You see what I mean? The way the subconscious mind works. When you program it subconsciously, then it becomes conscious when you now you commit it to your DNA, your long-term memory. So now you're not even recognize what you're not looking for. So think about this. When you're looking at a, a new Mercedes Benz you want to get, your new Toyota camera you want to get, when you get your Toyota camera, now you notice every other Toyota camera. When you were driving the Forerunner, you ain't notice all the cameras. Now that you got a camera, you know that every camera. So when you get what you want, when you write down what you want, you're going to recognize that. He's going to be jumping out at you. It's like he's going to have a glowing light around him. And then 
the ones who fit outside of what you want, it's like he's going to be under a dark cloud, like he's just in the black. You can't even see him. You see what I mean? But you got to have these standards. So now when you meet this man, boom, you get a little deeper in the sense of you got your standards, but it's certain preferences that mean something. Okay. So what I mean by this is if you like a man that call you, if this man start out and he texts you, hey, how are you? And all he want to do is text you to death and he texts you all day. He out of the picture. He done because that's not a real man. A real man going to say, hey, how are you? You can say, I'm doing great. How are you? you say, I'm doing good. You know, would love to chat with you on the phone or FaceTime when you get some time. Boom. A man who's serious, boom, he getting right to it. Okay. So you have little signs like this. Now, see. I can't go too, too deep in this. So that's why you might need coaching. You might need coaching. Sometimes you might need four sessions. But because I can't hit every single thing. And the way women are, I, I mean, uh, Tony, so you left out if he, um, so what about if he walks with his shoe untied? The, because I feel like that says that he is sloppy and he's not a real man. So is it okay if I put that on my list that if his shoes are untied, it got to go, like you say, Tony, got to go. And I'm just like, mm, Lord, mm, Lord. So no, no, it have to mean something in a real way. You see what I mean? It's some other things that you're going to put in there that you may have in there. Okay, do a teeth look brush. If he have... If his teeth are a little too gray, a little too yellow, oh, got, got to go. Got to go. You don't take care of yourself. If he, if he got nose hairs hanging out, nose hairs hanging out, and while he talking, nose hairs just waving at you. Mm-hmm. If he got ear hairs, just a bush of ear, a bush of hair hanging out the ear, ram in the bush, got to go. You don't take care of yourself. You don't take care of yourself. You don't take care of yourself. You, if he ain't taking care of his skin, if his face is completely dehydrated, he got skin flaking off, he got stuff flaking off, his house is a mess. That, your house is messy. Okay, you got a half eight peanut butter and jelly under the couch, smelling like somebody done died in your house. All your food laid up under your couch everywhere. With all, cause you're not taking care of yourself. You don't care enough about cleaning yourself up. That let you know, 10 more years, you're gonna be wiping that booty. Yeah, can you get the bed so for me? Squeeze the pus out. Go squeeze the pus out of it. Mm. Ugh. Mm. And uh, why? Hey, I feel a little moist between the cheeks. Can you get uh, one of them wipes? Just wipe me, cause you know how the hemorrhoids acting up. Mm. Mm. Is that preference H? Or you got preference T? That burn. You see what I'm saying? He come in there. Nose house. Everywhere. Ill house. Everywhere. He don't, he don't take care. Teeth yellow. Breath smell. Breath. You can smell it. Breath. You trying to talk to him. So yeah. So how are things going with you? Then he. Well you know. When he hit that well. Well you know. And. Oh, really? You holding your breath. You. Oh, n nothing wrong with me. I just got a little. It's like I had a little gas. A little gas. You see what I'm saying? You go, boom. That's the first night. That's the first date. So it's stuff like this that you got to add in there that you pick up on because, see, as a woman, a lot of times y'all look over a lot of the stuff that speaks to him, his quality of life. Now, see, and see now, when you get a little deeper in your coaching session, we'll get a little deeper. But, okay, if this man say he worked for Google, all right, and he work in programming, you go, you go and Google that. Okay. Salary one ten to two thirty. All right, he say he make one ten to two thirty. At one ten to two thirty, just a certain way you gonna dress. It's a certain way you gonna dress. You are gonna get a little nicer of a shoe. 
Oh, uh, well, Tony, what if he just not in the fashion? He ain't got to have on D or you hit me, but he need to leave have on Ken of Cole. You know what I'm saying? His shoe ain't got to call $900 like mine, but cause he ain't in the fashion. My wife in the fashion. So I'm going to have D or okay, but he might have Ken of Cole. Just simple, nice, elegant, $100, $120, boom. Bro, don't come in here with them pay less shoes on. Because that lets you know something. Uh, mm, he got on Bobo. Mm, I saw the man at the light with them shoes on. Oh my goodness, what kind of shoes? Is the soul flapping? He got the soul flapping. So he walking. The soul flapping. You like, oh my goodness. And there's some men that's like that. Guess what? That lets you know he too frugal. When you want to go to Prague, when you want to go to Bali, he going to be, uh, I, I really don't think that's necessary. You know, we could go right here to Ball Harbor in Florida instead of Bali. What about Ball Harbor instead of Bali? That's way cheaper. You should have caught it. You should have caught it. So what you doing, this is how men read women. So see, I'm putting up, you're putting y'all up on game because a lot of y'all don't do this. You got to read everything. If I if 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 a man meet a woman and her wig sitting like this, just ever so slightly, got to go. Got to go. She forgot to get that wig scraped. If a woman do like this, she doing this too much. Got to go. The braid's too old. Braid too either too old or or uh you hang you ain't wash your hair. He just gonna assume something. Now it could because they too tight on. But then see, it is a little Yep, them braids look getting a little stale. And so or she or you go to scratching and that hat go to doing like this. I mean that that, that lace front, that wig go to doing like this, cause why are you dandruff falling out? He gone. That's what y'all have to do as women. See, a lot of times you come and the man nails look like a kindergartner. He been out at the playground. Just, yeah, let's make a sand castle. And he's sitting there. He go to eat. And all you see is just dirt. But this ain't lunch break. He ain't just get done working out on the construction site. This, this Friday night. This Friday night. See, I got my hand like this trying to let y'all see my Cartier ring. This Friday night. So he's sitting there Friday night and you like, wow. So some of y'all, what y'all do is, well, that's just men. You know, he probably a man's man. No, no, he ain't nobody man. He not a man's man or a woman's man. Barely God's man. He dirty. You see what I'm saying? So you have to put, when you get up here around 50, you got to be a lot more particular because you got to understand you're going to be wiping this man booty. Okay? 75, 80, you might have to be wiping his booty. So, or spending your money, putting him on your disability insurance to have a CNA round the clock. So now you're depleting your worth. You tap it into your 401k, take care of him. So you got to read all of this, okay? Now, this other thing, what I'm going to tell you, what you got to do. All right, I got to be gone in 17 minutes. Yeah. This other thing, what I'm going to tell you, what you got to do. You have to have a timeline. Now, see, this is the one thing. So you can read everything you want to read, and you're going to miss some stuff because you're not a man. You're not me, okay? I'm a man. I understand men. I know how to read men. You ain't going to be able to do it to that level, okay? But you're going to be good enough at it. But regardless of whether you're good or bad at it, the most you got to decide the most you're going to give a man. Because, you know, let me tell you now. Let me tell you. A man know, a man know if you his wife in the first month. He know if you his wife in the first month, okay? I don't know if you know he, he your husband because I'm not a woman. So I don't know how what y'all know. But I know a man know... If you his wife in the first month, all right. The next thing is, okay, a ma a man could fake for about three months. 
A man can fake for about three months, 90 days, and you got to talk every single day. Okay, if a man don't call you a, a one of the days, he it need to be because he was on a submarine under the water and they had no signal down there. Other than that, game over. Or he need to have been in the hospital, okay, on an IV and was knocked out. Okay, other than that, got to go. If a man is into you, he will not let a sun rise and go down without calling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. A lot of y'all don't want to hit. Oh, well, that's kind of creepy. I don't want to talk to a man every day. You don't want a relationship then. What you think marriage is? You see the same person every single day. You talk to them every single day. So you got to do the same thing when you build them. So it's stuff like this what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So what I would do, now, when I'm getting 50, when I'm getting, when I'm pushing 50, if I was a single woman pushing 50, I'm going to give Playboy about two months max. Three months, that's for, that's three months. That's the 21-year-olds could use, go live by that. The 25-year-olds could live by that. Not be married, but you know the man say, hey, will you be mine? Will you be my girlfriend? And then everything check out. That three-month mark. The older he get, the more pristine he ought to be. The more well-rounded he ought to be. The more he should know, the more decisive he should be, the more confident he should be. If you're dealing with grown boy behavior around 50, he's a grown boy indeed. So you got to go. Okay? And now here's another thing that I need you to understand. Now, I always tell y'all, don't judge a man by his currency, by his money. Judge him by his character. Let his character be his currency. But at 50, yes, at 50, he need to have some things. So it's okay. Finances matter. So this is the thing. You say you do real good. You got multiple streams of income. Okay, you got multiple streams of income. Uh-huh. I like that last name. Uh-huh. Now it look like this look like your sorority sister because this look like a sorority jacket that the trim on the um, wrist right there and around the bottom of it, like this here cardigan. That look like a sorority jacket, but I don't see no green. It's green and white. I mean I don't see no pink. So so I don't know if that's a sorority jacket or Ivy League or just a little classic outfit. It's a classy outfit now. And I like the way you wear your hair, and I like I like the way you dress. That's a nice outfit. So you right there now. You ready? You ready? But I'm gonna tell you what though. The other issue that you're facing, and now this this is hard to hear. The other issue that you're facing is that you're a black woman. And what I mean by this, is people gonna try you because black in America, and you got an American last name, sorta of, kind of could be an island. You could be you know Jamaican or something, but. When you black in America, everybody assume that you have trauma from your ancestors being slaves. So, and everybody know that the black woman in America has historically been treated the worst at the bottom of the totem pole. Because before we got into, you know, Hispanic and, you know, Asian and things like that, like... I don't know where the Hispanics was when blacks were slaves. So I don't know if Mexicans were here when blacks were slaves. Because I'll be honest with you, Mexicans work harder than us. The Mexicans be rare king. You hear me? When I meet these Mexican men out here, but he boy, I can't keep up. Boy, you work hard. My goodness. Well, what the work where did work ethic come from? Anybody who come do work on my house, it might be a black man who owned the company or a white man who owned the company, but they whole crew is Mexican. I say, nah, that's wrong, nah. That's wrong. That's wrong. It need to be Mexicans owning these companies. It need to be somebody who is teaching these men English so that they could pass that general contracting test and get that license and they can own their company because they're doing all the work. They wrong for that. But that's not, that neither here nor there. But this is the truth. And let you let me let y'all understand. The truth is offensive. The truth do hurt sometimes. So don't be in my comment because you will get blocked immediately about the truth that I see. This is my page for my truth that I see, okay? Might not be your truth, start you a page because you will get blocked on mine. So just keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear. Ugh. That is not true. It is a million Mexican men on general contract. I'm sure they are not where I stay at though. So listen to what I'm telling you. 
All right. As a black woman, people going to try you. So you got to keep doing exactly what you're doing. But you got to understand that's why they trying you, because they know black women have been over over historically have been marginalized, have been taken advantage of, have been used, have been mistreated, not only by other races, but by their own men. So black women have historically been seen as the ride or die woman. So a man feel like a man will go and treat a Mexican, a Caucasian, a black man will go and treat a Mexican, a Caucasian, a Asian better than he treat a black woman because he see the way the world has treated you historically. Now, black women out earning black men, smarter than black men, more successful than black men, got more going on. You got a 21 year old getting ready to go to med school. You done broke the mold. It sounds like you don't come from slavery. If you do, that's even more commendable. It sounds like you come from an island or another country, you know, Africa or, or one of the islands because you done broke the mold. Uh, black Americans do this too, but the struggle is different because you direct descendant of slaves in America. That's a whole nother conversation. A lot of people don't want to believe that, but that's what, that what the lit read, okay? So that's another thing that they trying you for, but you have to, it's time now for black women to stop feeling less than, to stop feeling like you got to do more, like you got to give more, like you got to sleep with a man and own your privilege. Own, yeah, you got privilege from God, not from man. You got it from God. Know who you are, walk in your strength, walk in your beauty, walk in your class. And I don't care if you turn 60, I don't care if you turn 70, Stick to your standards. Do not compromise your standards. You say, I'm standing firm in my Christian standards. No men with vices. No men who don't know what they want, etc. I'm dating with purpose. I'm keeping this to myself so they don't know. You're doing good. And you say, no matter how successful, young or old. See, the thing is, they have a grown man in them, but they are grown, but they show they grown boy. They, they show they grown boy because they so used to women settling. They so used to women putting up a good front, putting up this front, this bluff, but not really being about that life. It sounds like you about that life in this period of your life. You definitely are a wife. You was married 18 years. You wouldn't have got married to begin with if you were not a wife. It's just your man did not evolve and mature and become a grown man. So guess what? He lost you. You left. You left him. You left a man after 18 years. That say to me, you are very strong. You've been single four years now. If you had had a husband for 18 years, that means you could have got a husband the next six months, the next year. If you just wanted a warm body, you don't want a warm body. You want a real man. You snag your husband in, at 19. That let me know that you classy, that you a wife head to toe because men don't think about no marriage around no 19. Okay. And yeah, y'all probably was together for some time, but he knew you was the one when he met you. Now, you made a mistake with your husband, so you didn't learn from that. Because 18, 50 minus 18, 40 minus 8, 32, you met at 19. So that means if y'all met at 19, I don't know if y'all were together from 19 to 32. Oh no, you've been four years. So we still looking at, okay, okay, 28. So y'all got married relatively soon in that in them 20s. Y'all got married because you've been single. So that take us back to, you know, 28. So y'all got married, you know, in a decent time timeline. But the thing is, he knew you was a wife, but he didn't know he wasn't a man. So he wanted you, but he couldn't do what it took to keep you. That wasn't your fault. So... Just watch that. That water under the bridge. Go on about your business. Okay, I got to hurry up now. Okay, I got six minutes. So now listen to me. Keep all your standards. What you want to do here is set you a timeline that you can afford and to each their own. For some women, she could, she'll she say, I got three months. If this man passed all the initial tests, if he check out everything, okay, teeth look decent, okay, jaw, car, Place to stay. It don't got to be a house. It could be an apartment. Place to stay. Finances look like they match. You can't have no man who say he the store manager at Foot Locker. 
which you know earn at the most fifteen twenty dollars an hour, but he driving he driving a a Wraith, a Rolls Royce Wraith that costs four hundred thousand dollars. Get my calculator. Y'all got to forgive me, my alarm went off from a coaching call because I thought I might be taking a nap and it cut me off. Now, so you see, if finances match up, can't be making $20 an hour in, in a rafe. You know what I'm saying? And then he also should not be making $400,000 a year and he uh, riding an old beat down jalopy because that means he got a scarcity mindset. That means he got a real frugal mindset. And unless you got the same mindset now, if you want, if if at 400 k you gonna get you a Benz, you gonna get you a, a luxury car, then that's not your husband. You see what I mean? So if everything check out, he still could be playing a role. He still could be lying. He still could be faking. Okay. So then you set a timeline for your life, bit depending on how much time you got to give. You don't sound desperate. You don't sound desperate in the least. So that let me know you can afford the three months. You can give a man, if he passed all the initial tests, you can afford the three months. So give him them three, okay? Give him them three. And then what you're going to take and do is at day 91, you do an evaluation of the relationship and you decide to promote, demote, or terminate. So you promote him, okay, y'all going to the next level of trust, of honesty, of openness. Demote him, okay, you get a little distant, you're a little too busy every other day, every few days, you still ain't sleeping with him, you kind of let him know you don't really know if this is going to work. And terminate, that means you completely done, you done seen too much now, you know you done, hey, this isn't going to work, I don't want to waste your time or my time, I got to go. So this isn't going to work. I'm going to let you go. You don't say it the way I said. Say it the way you said. Okay, boom. If you, if you get promoted, a little bit more honesty, a little bit more openness. This don't mean opening of the lead. That don't mean that. Okay, all right. So then what we're going to do is now you're going to take another three months. No, after the first three months, now you're going to evaluate every 30 days because now you're in crunch time because he may fake for for 90 days, day 91, he passed the evaluation. He gets a promotion. But now, once he get there and you open up a little bit more, you laugh a little bit more, you're a little bit more open, he may start to see that, get a little lax, get a little comfortable, get a little complacent, and he start to show real colors. What a lot of women do wrong is you let him ride off them 90 days worth of work, but then day 120, he done went downhill and you still giving him credit for what he did in the first 90 because you fell for him in the first 90. Now, day 120, day 150, day 180, he done went downhill. It's looking real bad. Now, it's, it's not looking like it was looking, but you still giving him credit for the first 90. You see what I'm saying? Hey, so now I got to go. I got to coach here in two minutes and I got two coaching calls back to back. So, but so y'all see now it's a science and i and i done left a whole lot out listen i'm gonna have to do a when the world get back regular i'm gonna have to do a whole day seminar on this here you see what i'm saying I, you would y'all meet me in somebody's city somebody hotel ballroom have your notebooks and i'm, I'm gonna lay it all the way out to you because i'm gonna tell you like right here i'm gonna tell you like right here i don't care i don't care who it is i don't care who it is they ain't gonna they ain't gonna go deepest what the lord done gave me to go but I, I just only have one hour at a time i'm just getting started so and that's what annoyed me oh you forgot to say that i didn't say half of what i had to say but it just would be ridiculous for me to be making two hour three hour four hour video y'all complain about the one hour having too many ads how many ads you think gonna be in a two hour video so hey i got to go so listen to this again twice get this in your spirit and at live in your mind now if you got the right kind of sense if you know i really ain't got no kind of sense let me just get a session get go on my mentor.life book a session if you can't uh, if you want to go this deep you're gonna have to do the session with me but if it's just some surface level in the culture in the culture do hey god bless you we'll talk soon